Welcome to our tutorial on connecting ESC to QuickBooks. In order to integrate ESC with QuickBooks, you'll first have to determine the method that you will be using to connect the two programs together. There are two methods available, the accounting server and the direct connect method. The accounting server is the primary way in which 99% of our customers will connect ESC to their QuickBooks database. To set this up, you must first download the latest ESC accounting server from our website at www. .desco-soft.com, and then install it to just one computer on your network. This is typically the computer that also contains your QuickBooks database. After the accounting server is installed, launch QuickBooks on that same computer and switch into single-user mode. This is necessary to get the accounting server to properly integrate with QuickBooks initially. With QuickBooks running in single-user mode, now go into Windows and go to your Start menu, and in the All Programs list, open up the Desco folder and click on the ESC accounting server. Click on the Retrieve button on the accounting server and it will automatically tie into the Open QuickBooks company and display a QuickBooks application certificate window. This is the screen that provides ESC the permission to post data over to QuickBooks. So, in the Do you want to allow this application to read and modify this company file area, select the option Yes Always, allow access even if QuickBooks is not running. The Login As field will then become available, and using the drop-down arrow, select a user other than the administrator. Typically, we recommend creating a user called ESC and providing it full permission access to QuickBooks, and then assigning it here. The only other thing to do is to place a check mark in, allow this application to access personal data, such as Social Security numbers and customer credit card information. Again, this is a required option, but don't worry. ESC will only send information over to QuickBooks that you authorize. Click Continue, then Done. The name of the QuickBooks company should appear to the right of the Retrieve button on the accounting server. Now on the accounting server, press the Click to Connect to Accounting button at the top, and the status should change to Connected, and the Connected icon should now display a Pause button. This would indicate that you now have connected the accounting server to your QuickBooks database. You should now pause the accounting server and switch QuickBooks back to multi-user mode if you have more than one QuickBooks user on your network. As QuickBooks does not actually need to be running for the accounting server to work, you may close QuickBooks entirely and then press the Connect button on the accounting server and it will connect behind the scenes for you. All that would need to be done next is to connect each ESC workstation to the accounting server. Now that the accounting server is properly installed and integrated into your QuickBooks database, we will proceed to set up each ESC workstation so that it knows how to communicate to the accounting server, which in turn sends information to your QuickBooks. Launch ESC on your workstation and log into your database. In ESC, go to File, QuickBooks Connection Wizard, and select the United States option unless you're in Canada, and then click Next. On the second screen, select the Connect Through the Accounting Server option and click Next. On the third screen, you will need to enter in the computer name of the machine that the accounting server is installed to. The accounting server does make this easy because if you look at it, at the very top of the accounting server screen, you will find the server name listed for you. Just note this and enter it into the third screen and then click Next. You should get the message on the following screen that the connection to QuickBooks was successful. Clicking Next after this will allow you to run through all of the other factors of the integration. If you have already completed the wizard or intend to do so on the server computer, you may click Exit at this time. You must run through the QuickBooks Wizard's first three screens and enter in the proper server name on each ESC workstation to get them properly integrated with QuickBooks. If there is a problem with the integration and you are unable to post, but the accounting server is running and the QuickBooks Wizard has the correct server name, you may have a corrupted integration certificate. It is easy to delete and recreate the certificate in QuickBooks. First, pause the accounting server and have all of the users log out of QuickBooks for a few moments. Go to the accounting server and log into QuickBooks and switch to single user mode. Now in QuickBooks, go to Edit, Preferences, Integrated Applications, and select the Company Preferences tab. In the list of applications that have previously requested access to this company file, select the ESE reference and then click on Remove. If multiple ESE references are found, remove them all. Now click OK to save the change, and now go back to the accounting server and click on Connect. The accounting server will once again automatically tie into the Open QuickBooks company and display the QuickBooks application certificate window. This is the screen that allows ESC to post data over to QuickBooks. So, 
In the Do you want to allow this application to read and modify this company file area, select Yes Always, allow access even if QuickBooks is not running. The Login as field will become available, and using the drop down arrow, select the ESC or other designated user for this. The final thing to do is to place a check mark in the Allow this application to access personal data such as social security numbers and credit card information. Click Continue, then Done. The accounting server should now display as connected once again. One of the main benefits of using the accounting server method is that it eliminates the need to install QuickBooks on each ESC workstation, as all postings to QuickBooks from ESC are handled through the accounting server. This way, you could limit the installation of QuickBooks to those that require it on their machine and still have ESC installed on all computers. Also, with the accounting server, at minimum, you will only need a single licensed copy of QuickBooks located on your network to allow multiple ESC workstations to properly access QuickBooks. The accounting server must be installed on the same machine as QuickBooks to make this type of setup work. We develop, install, and support the ESC accounting server so you don't have to contact Intuit if it's not working. Now on the downside, the accounting server does take a QuickBooks license when logging into the QuickBooks database. If you have a limited number of QuickBooks licenses, this can be a minor concern. If you want to use QuickBooks on the accounting server computer, you must log into QuickBooks as a user with administrative privileges. Logging into QuickBooks with a user that does not have full permissions can cause ESE to not post customers or invoices over from any workstation. The ESE accounting server runs as a program and not a service. As a result of this, it must be up and running on a computer at all times to maintain integration connectivity between ESE and QuickBooks. Now we'll move on to the Direct Connect method. The Direct Connect method is most commonly used by ESE single user licensed customers. This is mainly because they only have a need for a single QuickBooks license and integrating ESC directly eliminates the need to install and support the accounting server software unnecessarily. To make the initial connection to QuickBooks using the Direct Connect method, first log into QuickBooks as the admin user and switch to single user mode. To switch to single user mode in QuickBooks, you must first pause the ESC accounting server since it logs in as a user to QuickBooks, and then QuickBooks will permit the switch from multi-user mode to single user mode. On the same machine, log into ESC and then click on File, QuickBooks Connection Wizard. On the first screen, select United States, unless you are in Canada, and then click Next. And on the second screen, select the Direct Connect option and then click Next again. On the third screen, just click Next and you should get the message on the next screen that the connection to QuickBooks was successful, as ESC directly communicated to the QuickBooks database. Clicking Next after this will allow you to run through all other factors of the integration. If more than one ESC computer is integrated to QuickBooks, we do recommend using the accounting server method instead. The main benefit of the Direct Connect method is that it's designed to be easier than the accounting server method for ESC single users. Some of the negative aspects of using the Direct Connect method are, you must first log into QuickBooks and then into ESC. This order is required to allow the integration to work properly. Also, QuickBooks must remain open at all times when integrating with ESC. And the Direct Connect method will require the QuickBooks logged in user to have full admin privileges to allow ESC to properly post customers and invoice data over. Logging into QuickBooks as a user with lower level permissions can prevent invoices and customer data from posting over to your QuickBooks. You have now completed the necessary steps for connecting ESC to QuickBooks. This concludes our tutorial.